Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Wood by Allison Chains. Uh, so I'm tuned down a half step here, so if you guys want to follow along, just make sure every string on your guitar is tuned down a half step. And uh, let's get rocking here. We're going to start here with some harmonics for the intro, just at the 12th fret on the E, then the A string. Then play those again. Then the open high E string. And then the sixth fret on the G. Let those all ring together. Then you can just play the. Uh, you kind of do a volume swell. It's kind of some overdubs there. We're just gonna you can turn the volume up and swell in. We're just playing the fourth fret on the G and the fifth fret on the D together. And if you get the open B in there, that sounds good too. All right, now the main riff of the song. So that's just playing the 4th fret on the G and the D together and doing a quick hammer on on the 6th fret on the G string. So do that twice, then play the two 4s again, and then put the 2nd finger here on the 5th fret on the D string, I'm sorry, and just play those two frets together, two, two strings together, so we have this. Do that twice and then slide into that fifth fret on the D, then play that fourth fret on the G, the high string open, and go back to the main riff. All right, now I'm going to do that slide again, but we're going to move it down an octave now when the vocals come in. Slide into this third fret on the low E string, but then play the second fret on the A and the fourth fret. Uh, same thing for the second fret on the D string. So we have this. Uh. Now we do the same riff but down here at the second fret on the uh, A and the E string. So I'm going to hammer on the fourth fret on the A string there. And then you do that. 3 2 2 again. So it's the same entire riff we did up here, just an octave lower. All right, then from here we get into the, the chorus of the song. This is when the big guitar part, the bigger tone comes. So we're going to change the preset here, and the chorus is basically just two chords, and here it is. Second time through those those chords is kind of a, just a rolled off, uh, distorted sound. So, uh, but those two chords is just a power chord here. The second fret on the A string, just those three strings, to an, a G power chord. So it's just your third fret on the low E string and the B and the high E together. And you're gonna be muting the A string with the bottom of your middle finger. Let those two middle strings ring. It's back and forth. All 
Okay, so then the only other part we have, we have a couple other parts. We have that outro riff, but before that we have the guitar solo. So let me play that solo for you real quick. It's got a little bit of an octave, octaver pedal on it. Um, let's switch it to the neck pickup and it's gonna sound kinda like this. Alright, so we're going to start with a trill here at the 11th fret on the D string. You're going to be trilling between 11 and 12. Resolve it to the 11th fret on the G. Then shift back here to the 9th fret on the G, do a whole step bend, and then grab the 10th fret on the B. And then play 911 on the D. Then hammer that 9 to 11, followed by 9 by itself. Now shift back to the 7th fret on the D, do a whole step bend and release real slowly. Now you're gonna hammer four to seven, back to the four. Then hammer two to four, over to four on the A. Then hammer two to four on the A. Then play the second fret. So we pulse solo again. All right, then it goes back into that. All right, so at the very end of the song, we have uh, that big riff comes in at the very end. It sounds like this. Alright, so we're going to start with a D power chord. You just hit the 3rd fret on the B and 2nd fret on the G with the open A and D with it. So the power chord here, just the 2 finger power chord. 4 on the low E, 6 on the A. Now you're going to rotate between that and the, the low E open. So it kind of just palm it. So it... Then down to the third fret, same thing. Play this. All right. Then we get to the low E power chord. So just play that twice, palm it. Then we're gonna. What well, basically we're gonna. So kind of double time it here in the right hand. The first two are just stable on the left hand, and then you're gonna hit two, then the open A string. So then it goes four on the A, then the open A. So it just rotates between two and four. You hit the open A in there with the little string. So you're always hitting these two strings. Back to the D. All right, and at the very end of the song, it does it. Uh, appropriately known as the Hendrix chord. Here at the, uh, we're gonna play the fifth fret on the A, fourth on the D, fifth on the G, and sixth on the B. Just 
just those four middle strings. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.